Hi Aquarius, this is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your reading for the month of December 2021. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality which can help you to transform energy. Uh, please visit my website, redcolor.com. I'm a textile artist and I have lovely scarves, t-shirts, um, pocket squares, paintings, etc. Available for purchase. Um, so, okay, let me tell you the message first. So, sometime between the shuffles, and like, do I have the message for this in the sign? Be quiet, observe. Be quiet, observe. Okay, and it was like, whoa. Okay, so uh, I do daily readings with Nancy Jean. I do monthlies. For the collective, but for weekly readings, um, I would appreciate if you become a member. So, for members, I have weekly readings, you know, by sign. It's two ninety nine a month. Please become a member. Here we go. All right. Be quiet. Observe. Okay. Let's see what the cards have to say. The cards, darlings. All right. One, two, three. Nice beginning. Stability, creativity, birth of new ideas. Very nice. Very nice. You know, comfort, stability, joy, inspiration, creativity, happiness. You know, so, you know, this is really... Like this is domesticity going on here. I really like this card. And uh, yeah, I think being quiet and being, you know, stable and secure, you know, just being happy and satisfied in that. Okay. You know what? Since I have two threes, I think this is actually creative thinking. I get this and then I get that which actually also leads to a four. So I, I, yeah, I think this is about, you know, minding, she really kind of minds her own business. She really kind of minds her own business. Yeah. Yeah, so all the negativity now is knocked out of this card because this is great, this is great, this is good. This is great. This can go either way, but I think this is about being with yourself, observing, just, you know, being quiet, being secure, being stable, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not an action sort of thing, it's sort of like, okay, just sit back, observe, you know, be calm, sometimes it's really, sometimes it's a really nice energy, and it's through that, that you're going to really see where you want to go that's where you're going to that's how you're going to begin to see what is it that i would like to uh, attain what is it what i think it's that it's in the being quiet that you're going to discover and kind of acknowledge it's like i really want a new job or um, uh, i really want more people in my life or i really want to travel or whatever that is, you know, and then you're going to be able to put together a plan. But I think the quietness is super important this month. Yeah, and avoiding all this. And, you know, this is a very solo, I know it doesn't say so, but I think it is. It's a very solo sort of, you know how like if you have an idea for something, and then you tell it to certain people and they're all naysayers. It's like, no, 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 no. This is a very satisfac you know, self-satisfaction. This isn't about satisfying everybody. This isn't about what they think or any of that. Yeah, because I feel like if you involve other people and in their negative things, 
it, it's going to, you know, kind of ruin it. Yeah, you know, so maybe what this is about also, you get the transformer, right? Maybe what this is about is, um, I think what you need to really look at is how you have allowed others or society or people around you to really influence your thoughts and sit and observe and, and you know, really have a, a self moment and say, you know, aren't I the one who makes the final decisions? Aren't I the one who makes final decisions? Right? Because if I involve all these other people, then uh, it's not really going to work out for me. The interesting thing is you get three nines, three nines. So nines are about attainment. So I think, the, you know, being, having a sense of gratitude and having a sense, having a sense of gratitude and understanding really exactly where you're at in reality and knowing who and what you are and what makes you tick and what it is you'd like to uh, discover or go after and deciding that I'm the king in my life, I'm the leader in my life will help you to attain I think that's the big transformation. I think it's really about understanding yourself as the center of your own universe. And through that and not relying on all these outside, all these outside uh, influences to tell you that you're strong or you're, or you're smart or you're creative or any of those other things. It's really about going into a place of, um, quietness in yourself and gratitude to really, um, you know, help you to transform into more of the leader in your life, right? Very interesting little reading. Let's read one more with the help. Yep, that's clarity. The clarity is going to come from being quiet. There you go. It was, it's kind of this profoundly spiritual reading, actually. And, you know, oh, this one's so spiritual, that's so spiritual. We're all of spirit. It's all spiritual. The whole freaking thing. Oh, wow, well, you know, that's not spiritual. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's all attached to spirit. It's all spiritual. So, um, that was an interesting little reading. Um, sometimes I think it's really good to, uh, I don't know, keep your stuff to yourself. and come to your own conclusions and come to your own uh, understanding of what your desires are, right? You know, everyone thinks I should make this much money. It's like, I want more money or I want things other than money. Because at the end of the day, you have to answer to you, not to me, not to your brother, not to your neighbor, right? The end of the day you have to answer to you and that's what the quietness is about blessings thanks for tuning in